in Texas, and we're doing something a little different. We hit record, so, you know, the whole spew I just gave you guys, I'm going to do it again so the people out there in internet land who are not here with us tonight can know what we're doing. Do you realize there's not a Cal Island in Texas? Why not? Because there's a Cal Island school, but not a Cal Island in Texas. Is this, is, is the town called Cal Island? No, it's called Corpus. Really? Yeah. On the map? Uh -huh. There is no Cal Island. On there is no Cal Island on the map. No Cal Island. It's a Cal Island. ISD. And there's no, like, town, no. Cal Island? No, really. It's actually on the... So we're kind of, like, in nowhere land right now. Right. If we have nothing to get to something on the map, then what are we actually doing here? That's kind of freaking me out. You know, it's kind of weird. Corpus? You know? Where are you Corpus? Yeah, Corpus Christi Pet. We're in the Corpus Christi area. We're not in Corpus. Corpus to me is, like, SPID and, you know, Staples, Never Park. Not Cal, you know? So I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, you kind of confuse, you kind of yeah, confuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if this is going on with this. Okay, see? There it is. It's going to off a little bit. There it is. Uh, let's do the quick version of this, too. Right. Here with me today, I got an who plays guitar, I got Yesenia, I got Marisa, I got Rach, I got Tommy, I got Pastor Jay, and I got myself. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Thank you very much. <laughs> See, we do this podcast every time y'all leave, and I get ridiculed by all these people back here. No, you get ridiculed when you're not here. You know, I never say. And I just want to let y'all know that you know y'all are my people. You know, and I love y'all, and you know I need y'all support. You know, um, today the message today was what was the message? The message. Who owns your soul? Oh yeah, we're doing a thing called Elevate Flicks. Elevate, Elevate Flicks. Where we take a some movie. of the, the big blockbuster movies of the summer and we analyze them so we can see how our culture views God. And uh, what we want to do today is, Pastor Jay, you gave the hey the people yeah this is an opportunity to almost kind of create part of your message the big idea the big idea that's because we didn't have Shelly here tonight. So Shelly couldn't read the big idea. And usually the, the big idea, you write it down and you kind of say, okay, this is the direction we want to go. And y'all are kind of, you know, you follow that direction. So what Pastor Jay did here tonight was he kind of let y'all navigate and figure out your own direction. So we had these papers passed out and we had some of y'all coming throw them back in and what do we want to do Pastor Jake? We're going we're gonna to read some of you guys' big ideas. Is that alright? I'm you. not going to tell you your name because you didn't put it on here. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to read some of you guys' big idea. And uh, I don't know if I want to read all these big ideas. Can uh, maybe pass those around. Let's, let's, let's read a couple of big ideas. Grab one as it comes around. Maybe grab two. <laughs> Man, what's up with this? Do you know, you didn't explain things very good. What are you talking about? What's the problem? You didn't explain things what we're doing. Well, explain it. Go for it, man. You know, I'm, I am right. You're just the comic relief. He's I'm, a mere I'm, assistant. I, I'm just Ooh, a mere yeah. assistant. Ooh, you, we can't even get Tommy dog you know. Wow. <laughs> you see? You see what I'm doing? You, you see what I have to put up with, guys? Uh, is everybody ready? Ness, yes, we'll sir. start with Ness. Go ahead. You gotta use the mic, man. You gotta use the microphone. Listen up, guys. Or, or podcast. Listen up. Listen, I know this is kind of weird for some of y'all, and y'all are like, "What's going on?" We don't even know. This is kind of boring. You know, can you get with the, you know, get with the program? And I'm trying to flow here, guys. Okay, so just there we go. So if it's bad, it's his fault. Okay. There we go. Good evening, Hey, it, it is okay to laugh if if, if you know it's funny. I would appreciate but it. But no, hey, y'all, y'all know this now. Nobody's laughing now. <laughs> If I'm not funny, you can still laugh so you can uh, <laughs> your funny little shit. All right. You're funny looking. Hey, can we deal with the program? I'm right. trying to be happy. Go ahead, then. I'll try. Okay. Big idea number one. You cannot serve two masters. Okay, I like that. Mister. Okay, what else? You got another one? Yeah. You got another one right here. Choose God to be your master. Other things will not last. Okay. Well, let's talk about that real quick. I like those. Uh, Keep them close. Uh, that second one. What did it say? Choose God to be your master. Others think other things were not last. 
other things. What do you guys think? Very good. What do, what do you guys thought? And you know, we, again, we got all of our teenagers' lives. So you're going to get a little bit of feedback of, of what their thoughts are. This is a point where I'm supposed to stop talking. Yeah. I got a good idea. I got, a, I got something that popped in my head. Okay, go. What do you think? Read that one, one one more time. Read it again. The second one? Second one. Choose God to be your master. Other things will not last. The first thing that popped in my head as soon as Ness read that and whoever wrote this very good, very good big idea is the story in the Bible about the foundations. Right. You know, you have to have your house built on a solid foundation that will last. You build your house on the sand, it's going to wash away. May look like a nice house in the beginning, may look great, everything's perfect on the outside, but the moment a big storm comes, if your foundation is not solid, it's going to be washed away, and you're going to have to start all over again. So, you know, when that's right, that, that was the first thing that popped in my head. You know, God, if you build your house on God, if you build your life and surround your decisions on God and what God wants for your life, you know, that's a solid, firm foundation that's almost like, you know, uh, what is it, no, uh, uh, like a uh, guarantee almost, you know, no chances of a storm coming and knocking you down, you know, you still can stay solid, so. I thought you were going to say cement. I was going to try, I was thinking of the word, but I just couldn't figure that out. That, that was the first thing that popped in my head. I think that was a good illustration, what do you think? Uh, things and other things are kind of like the sand, and God 